When connecting waveguide flanges together, it's usually very hard to achieve a good connection without tightly screwing or pressing the flanges together. As we see, the mismatch is not caused by misalignment of the flanges. When we press the flanges tightly together, we achieve a good connection similar to the calibrated state. However, the connection is immediately lost when the pressure is released. If we instead use Gapway's flange adapter, we do not need to use any pressure to achieve a good connection. Here we place Gapway's flange adapter directly on the guiding pins of the standard waveguide flange and then we gently push the flanges together. As we can see, we immediately achieve a good connection with good matching and low insertion loss. This means that we have a very low leakage. We now also show that we have a stable and robust connection that is minorly affected by mechanical misalignments. We can even handle minor air gaps between Gapway's flange adapter and the standard waveguide flange. As you can see here, we are now going to introduce a 100 micrometer air gap between the left standard waveguide and Gapway's flange adapter. And even with this air gap, we still achieve very good matching and more importantly a very low insertion loss, which means that we have close to no leakage in this connection. 